Hello everybody and welcome to the third installment of my series called Discretions. Now if you have not seen these yet, it is basically where I take a topic and I just talk about it and give my own thoughts and uh, you know, just chat about it. Anyway, so I'm here today to talk about the drama or feud or whatever you want to call it between what was me and issues. Now uh, many of you probably know the situation already that uh, back a year, year and a half, two years ago, well pretty much a year and a half ago. Uh, Tyler Carter left the band. Now that was where the start of the drama began. Um, Tyler kind of left. No one like said why he left, but you know it happened. They got a new lead singer after a lot of controversy, saying they thought they were a breakup. Didn't know what was going to happen. Um, but they got Hans Aligo to come in, and they released a new single called Vengeance. Uh, it made an impact. You know, it was really um, accepted by a lot of people. They enjoyed the new uh, style they were going for. Some people saw it was kind of a stab at Tyler, and you know, some people enjoyed it and some people didn't. Uh, I just listened to the music and I thought it was a really great tune. Now, uh, as the months went by, more members of What Was Me left. Uh, that being Tyler, their screamer, and the brothers Corey and Ben, who were, I believe, the bass player and synth player singer. Now, that's kind of saying something when people leave a band, uh, and you think after four members of a band left that it'd be really hard to replace them, but no, they got more people to come in. Um, I don't really know the backup lineup, you know, the bass player or whatever, um, but I do know that um, Doriano, who was the screamer for That's Outrageous, who was also a Rise band uh, back at the time, uh, joined the band. Now, uh, they had a pretty good lineup. I did see them live in May. Uh, it, I will say it was really hard for them to do some of the songs that both Tyler and Michael did their vocals on because, again, when it's another person's song that you're singing, it's really hard to do and a lot of people aren't going to like it. But they did put off a great stage presence. I really enjoyed the show. It was, uh, it was pretty fun. So, you know, that was pretty good. Now, that's all leading up to what was me's new album along with a band that was forming in the midst uh, months ago, which is called Issues. Now, this is uh, Tyler Carter and Michael Bowen, both singer and screamer for what was me back then. And uh, I do believe Corey Ferris is in the band, and Ben Ferris was in it, but left. So this is basically the band members who left Woe With Me for their own reasons, trying to start a new band to get, you know, their own musical stylings together and work on what they wanted to do. Uh, so it's really awesome. Now, here's where it really gets big. Both bands announced they were dropping new singles. Uh, Woe With Me said their song would be called uh, Told You Once, and Issues was called The King of... Uh, Amarillo. Now, a lot of skeptici skepticism was going on saying, you know, which song is going to be better, um, what will happen, you know. They were both set to release on October 1st at midnight, and both songs dropped. Uh, both were passed along instantly. A lot of people listened to it, and then that's when the comments started flying, and people were like, what was me is better, issues is better, what was me did this wrong, issues did this wrong, and so many people were just phew, exploding. Now here's where I kind of come in with my own thoughts on it. I've listened to both songs multiple times, and I will say, although it is kind of like they take stabs at each other, I'm not saying you know that's their intention, but you can tell with some of the lyrics. I won't list them off, but if you listen to the issue songs, uh, issues song called "King of Amarillo," you will hear a few things possibly that are about "What Was Me." And if you listen to the "What Was Me" song, you will hear things that you think about. Uh, that are about issues. Now, the best thing about this, I really believe, is that I do enjoy both songs, even though uh, a lot of people are stating that uh, I Told You Once has a lot of uh, rip-offs of other songs. Now, one pe one people, one thing that people have been saying is uh, the intro is a big rip-off of Icarus Lives by uh, Periphery, and someone else said, I think, Wormholes by Volumes. I've never really given both songs a great listen, but I did listen to uh, Icarus Liz last night, and it is similar, but it's not the exact same thing. Uh, now, I will continue to say that although there is similar sounds in the instrumentals, let's be honest, in today's industry of music in general, a lot of like chords and choruses and everything else has been done and it's really hard to come up with something like brand new that no one's ever heard of before. So of course it will sound similar, which sucks, like for the fact that a lot of people just start controversy saying this sounds like this, this sounds like this, it's a ripoff. And you know, I, I can agree with it's very similar sounding, but I'm not gonna hate on the song for that. 
And uh, my overall opinion on this subject is that you can like both bands. I enjoy uh, What Was Me's old and new lineup, and I really enjoy Issues First Song. I really think that uh, their EP, Black Diamonds, which drops in November, is going to be an excellent EP. And I really, uh, I have a lot of hype for Genesis. I'm not really sure of it yet what it's going to be like, but I do know for a fact that it's it's going to be interesting. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to pre-order that CD. I haven't seen anything for Issues yet, but I'm probably going to pre-order that too. Um, so yes, I just wanted to let everyone know you can enjoy both bands. Now, although there's been so much drama, so much controversy, so much everything, I really think that the best benefactor here is actually Rise Records. They knew what these songs were. They heard them long before anyone else in the uh, public eye would know or hear, hear about them. And, you know, they knew what they were saying in the songs. And the fact that they released both songs on the same night is genius. I mean, the fact that they blew up Facebook and Tumblr and any kind of social media that their friends could send this, this song and the videos onto, and they go to iTunes and, you know, they buy it. It's genius. I mean, you know, what's wrong with this? It's a great idea. They have two good bands, you know, in the metalcore scene, and bam, like, nothing but, you know, um, they talk about them, profitability, um, it's, it's just, you know, it's awesome. So, people can say what they want, I mean, I know, I know people could probably see this video and start hating on it, and you know what, that's fine, you can have your opinion, this is my opinion, and, um, yeah, that's pretty much what I have to say, I really think I dig both songs. I think that Issues EP is going to be good, the new Woe Is Me full length should be pretty decent, and Raj Records is just a genius label. That's all I really had to say. Uh, if you have anything to say about this uh, topic, you know, Woe With Me Issues fight, you can let me know down below. Uh, I want to get your opinions on it. And overall guys, if you want to go listen to songs, buy them on iTunes, listen on uh, the Rise Records page on YouTube, I'll link both of them down below. Really enjoyable, I think they're both catchy, choruses are really good. So. Yeah, check it out. And remember, it's music for today, music for tomorrow, and music for life. Peace out.